Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning coordinator framework beginner tutorial and this is our part number 27. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about users as and and URI class library packages. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about coordinator framework tutorial. So basically guys, so far we have completed about several library packages in Codeigniter like session, like file upload, file validations and as well as we have seen about migrations. So inside this video, we are going to discuss about two library packages, something called user as end and URI class library. So just back to editor. So let's say that to understand about user as end library package, I am going to make some route. So let's say route. Inside this, I am just simply calling about URI or let's say my URI. Inside this, I am going to call a controller and let's say that my URI or let's say URI. Inside that, we are going to make a method something called index. So if I just get rid of that, by default it will call about the index method. So copy this class, go to controller. Inside this controller, I am going to make the file something called my URI dot php this is our controller so inside this php file i am going to declare something called class let's say my uri extends something called ci controller now inside this class file something called my uri i am going to make a method and something the method is called public function index this function will be called by typing my uri at the url position and also before this index method, I'm going to define the controller, sorry, constructor. So let's say public function, something called constructor. And I'm also going to inherit or let's say parent. And this is all about constructor. So in this, in, inside this index method, first of all, let's understand about what basically user as end is. So if I back to next slide, so what basically it is, the user as in class provides functions that help identify information about the browser like mobile devices or robot visiting your site. In addition, you can get referral information as well as language and supported character set information. So while getting this information or instead of these simple lines, it means that user as in basically gives you about the information of your current browser means if you have made an application and that application has some code some pieces of code of user as in then this class will provide the information about your browser about your version or many more informations about your character set so how basically you can use this user as in class in Codeigniter? so first of all before use this class we have to load it first so if i back to editor Inside, inside this constructor, let's say this load library and inside this library we have to load something called user as end by typing this this is user as end by loading this library actually we can access something called this and as end this is small in case as end and this as end has several methods by using those methods actually we can access all the information about the browser or any other devices so let's say that inside this index method first i'm going to write some code which basically checks that what type of browser and what version basically you are we are using that so let's say that if this as end something first of all we have to check our browser so is browser it means that we have opened our website into a particular browser like google chrome mozilla firefox safari opera etc so inside this is browser first of all it will check that our website is currently opened on a browser or at the mobile devices so after getting that if suppose our website is at browser so after checking that let's say this as in and let's say browser it will basically gives us the name of the browser also we want to take the version of that browser so let's say that this as int and something the version number and also if I write something here so just concatenate that this is simply browser name colon symbol and let's say that here its version 
and why actually we are not getting to wrap this all these things inside our h3 tag so let's the s3 and I'm going to put all the informations here we have to do some syntax formatting so this is only I'm going to remove this double quotes this as in browser next we have to concatenate this version with something value and I'm going to remove that and here we have to concatenate that so if I save this file save this route back to our browser and let's say that in text.php and instead of this migrate we have to supply something called my URI so if I copy that go here pasting it here just I'm pressing enter and we have some error error is at line number 13 inside my URI.php file so back to editor go to my URI and if I go at the end we have just add forget to add our semicolon so save this file again go here reload this page and we have some error and error is of our agent variable so I think that our library has not been successfully loaded so back to editor now this library actually not actually loaded successfully to this index method so what basically error it is and I think that this is not constructor this is only construct basically in PHP we have construct function which basically define our constructor so this was our error so if I save this file back to browser reload this page and now as we can see that browser name is Chrome and the version I am using something called 74.0 point point and something the number value again if I copy this route just back to our Firefox browser pasting this out here and pressing enter and as we can see that browser name is Firefox and this is the current version I am using it so basically guys user agent gives us the information about the browser and the version if suppose we have opened into our browser and let's say that I'm just going to use a method something called if let's say this isn't and something we have a method something called mobile this method will check that the current website what we have opened is at mobile device or not if it is on mobile device then what basically method actually we will get to get the information about the device so to get the mobile device name so something we need to do is this as int and we have a method something called mobile so if I save this file and I'm going to make it as a else if condition if I save this file back to our Chrome reload this page and as we know that we have opened our website into browser so how basically we can check about the mobile device so if I open this URL as mobile device then it will give the mobile device name what basically we have written inside here okay so let's say that we are going to take the information of this system means if we want to retrieve about the platform information so how can we access that so simply we need to write call this isn't and we have a method something called platform it will give about the platform information so if I just make a break tag here save this file go here reload this page and I am currently using our Linux operating system so this is my platform and this is about the browser versions so the points that we need to keep in our mind is that user agent library basically gives us the information about the site, mobile devices or any other information related with our system. Now let's start about the library package something called URI class. So basically to use or to understand about URI class we have some definition and definition is that URI class. The URI class provides methods that help you retrieve information from your URI strings what basically it is if you go to URL now as we know that this is our URL section and URL section contain some of the segments differentiated by our forward slashes so like 1 2 3 and so on so back to slides if we use URI routing then you can also retrieve information about the routed segments what basically it is we will understand about in action in a moment this is this class is initialized automatically by the system so there is no need to do it manually so as we know that guys before using any library we have loaded by using this following procedure like this load library and the library name 
URI segment automatically loaded by our code igniter. It will not basically manually we need to load it. So let's understand about making a method. So let's say public function and let's say my underscore let's say segments. Inside this my segments method, how can we use our URI library package? So basically this and this is the URI. This is basically a library, but actually we don't have need to load manually like what we have done with our user agent. It will load it automatically by our code igniter application. So one of the method from URI is something called segment. What basically this segment method will do? So if I back to browser, copy this URL back to slides and if I paste the URL here so after index.php segment counts is as a one value again if I if we have some value like second URI something called third URI something like that then this will be index 1 this will be index 2 and this will be at index number 3 so if I back to editor let's say that we are going to retrieve about segment 1. It means that it will give all the information about my URI segment. So let's semicolon here. If I let's echo here, save this file, copy this method name, back to browser and if I write it here, something called my segments, pressing enter and we have some and something called page not found obviously because we don't actually made the route yet so back to editor go to routes.php so if I copy this line pasting it here and let's say that my segment and also it will call about my URI this is our controller inside this controller we have method something called my segments so I'm going to pasting it here. So save this file, copy this route back here and pasting it here. So if I press enter, as we can see that this is all about my segment, why it is appearing. If I back to editor, now inside that what we have discussed, we have discussed that after index.php, this is our segment number one. That's why it has given information about my segment and again, if I back to editor, segment methods basically contains about the second parameter as well and this is for the default value. Let's say that if I supply no segment exists, this is our default value for our segment. As we know that our first argument means first segment exists, what will happen if we pass number 2? As we know that inside our URL there is no second parameter for our second segment so if I press enter now as we can see that no segment exists then in that case when segment does not exist then it automatically prints what we have the value inside our default value so if I back to browser let's say that if I open a duplicate tab let's say instead of tightly calling my segment I'm just calling my URI this is our controller and by the help of that controller I'm going to call this method so my segment pressing enter so pressing enter this is our first segment and this is our second segment so it will give about the value called my segments now if I just omit this value or oh, let's write some value now inside this value this is our third segment again if I back to editor let's say number five and as we know that five fifth number of segment does not exist so in that case we will get about the default value so back to browser reload this page and this is our default value so basically guys there are several methods URI contains but this is one of the most important method actually we need to understand about segment we are basically use this concept as many developers I have seen about pagination also the code igniter provides about the pagination library but most most of the developers actually use segment to get the pagination working in code igniter application like they pass at the url position about the pagination number something called two something called three something called four and so on to get the current page what actually they are on
So basically guys, inside this video, we had discussed about two library packages of Coding Igniter like User Ascent, which basically gives us all the information about our platform as well as about our devices and the browsers related information. And also we had seen about the URI segment, how can we use that and how can we get the information from the URL. So inside this video, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.